All right, welcome to Tamigawa Neon Dynasty pre-release. Uh, I don't know how many people we got. Uh, two, six, eight, thirteen, I think it is. So not a horrible turnout. Not you know, great. Some technical difficulties to begin with. But. Yeah, and for once it wasn't WotC. Yeah, it was actually... Our internet went out. Of course, every single person had a credit card. It was, and of course it was like right before, like right as you started yeah. taking payments for everything, yeah. right? So, uh, I'll start off. So I'd say just like crack everything and then show off the cards and then yeah, stop the video because deck building deck takes forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, I just noticed there's single art for the packs this time. Yup. Yup. Yeah, they used to say that was that Tetsuo or, yeah. or whatever. Right. Yeah. Brilliant restoration. Return all artifact and enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battle. No, Okie dokie. Not exactly what I was looking for, but. Didn't go over the. The packs. Oh. The structure of them. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, like, look at everything, because I gotta figure out know, what's what, like, what thing it falls into. No, no, you guys are Uh, so, Lizard Blades. On equipment is my rare. And I got me a Samurai. Double Strike. Equipped Creature has Double Strike. Reconfigure 2. It's a 1-1. One, one. Uh, not too terribly bad, I guess, but... I know there's a lot of like big or not big, small big creatures that attack. Look at it! A like special. I got the fancy land. Ooh. I got the the three mana white ramp card. Nice. Arizona Asari Commander. When it. Deals combat damage. If it doesn't have an indestructible counter, put an indestructible counter on it. Whenever combat damage is dealt to you, remove an indestructible counter. Okay. That doesn't seem bad. Just kind of ignore the indestructible thing and just play it as whatever it is. Yeah, it's a it's a three three <laughs> it's like haste for three. You, you might get the extra bonus. Yeah, it might be relevant at some point in time. Yeah, that's true. You're playing. Doesn't seem like it's bad. Do these? Maybe it's just me. The cards seem dull or like. Especially the different printing. Yeah, just the. I don't know. Really know. No, like the, the white seem muted or no, more gotcha. color than normal. Enormous energy blade. All right. Ooh. All right. I got a Kodama of the West Tree. Uh, three mana, three three reach. Modified creatures tra trample, and when modified creature just combat damage, search your library for basic land, put out the battle tab and shuffle. So I'm probably playing green. Ooh! So I got a foil secluded courtyard and one of the fancy islands. I'm assuming it's fancy island because it's yes. a blue. <laughs> that pretty blue. Not the actual, but now. This is going to take a lot of like. It's like the looking, thinking, figuring out what's going to be the best thing to put together. It's kind of pretty looking. Yeah, it is. Like, such a clean text box. Yes, ninjutsu and life leak. Yep. Yeah, those Get it. Like that. Got a shrine there. I got a. Uh, this card just is. Biting calm. Biting calm ninja, ninja. Has a mouth in the middle of his. Nice. So it can bite you. Nice. I got a. I got a dargan. Nice. The white dargan. I can pay Wooberg and it gets plus five, plus five to his turn. I got a fancy swamp that has a big red thing in the middle of it, because that <laughs> makes sense. Maybe we're playing green-white, because that <laughs> dragon seems pretty good. Yeah, that seems a little weird, Yeah. right? <laughs> like, Wait, what's that tap for? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, spell pierce, okay. Not too many that I'm like super, super like regular bank bus excited about, but all right, I'll go through my rear oh, in a second. Dude, I got a colossal turtle, a six-five turtle that's in cement colors. So, so here's the thing: 
it's worth it to play that, even if you're mono blue oh. or mono green. Yeah, it seems like it, because they Cause both you, his channel and both of them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, channel bounce a card. Like, channel get something back from the yeah. card. Like, okay. Uh, alternate art March of Reckless Joy. Additional cost, cast a spell, you exile number of red cards from your hand, spell costs two less to cast for each card exile this way. Exile top cards, you're like, you may play up to two of those cards until the end of your turn. Yeah, I'm probably not playing that, but that seems like it could get a little... So I ended up with wonky. Reckoner Bank Buster, which is a 4-4 vehicle through three. Um, right. Starts with three charge counters on it. Two, tap it, remove a charge counter from it. Draw a card. Then if there are no charge counters on it, uh, create a treasure token and a 1-1 colorless pilot with this creature cruise vehicles as though it were two power greater. So it creates a pilot when it That seems done. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Scrap Welder, which is the fixed version of Goblin Welder. Okay. Um, tap, sacrifice an artifact with value value X, return target artifact card with value value less than X from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yeah. I didn't see bad, especially giving it haste. Yeah. Hey, I got the uh, red nice. legendary land, so. Oh, hey. I also just opened a Foil Kaito Shizuki. <laughs> Seems like a good pull. <laughs> um, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt No, you're good. I'm night. just going through all... No, these are... I'm just going through all of my writers here, so... So, yes. Got March of Ord Otherworldly Light. Uh, X white instant as additional cost. Cast a spell. You may exile a number of white cards from your hand. Spell costs two less for each uh, card exiled this way. Exile target artifact, creature, or enchant with menu value X or less. Um, yeah, Restoration of its idol. Which is search for basic planes in the first step, put it in your hand. Then you can discard a card and pick up a card with men two or less. That's not the to tap. Of note, whatever you discard, you can get back. So you could get your planes, discard your planes, put a planes onto the battlefield, and then flip it over and it becomes a 3 4. Vigilance with when he attacks your blocks, create a one. Uh, basically, it's a brim mass on the back. Oh, okay. For anybody who doesn't know Brimaz, I'm sure you'll be able to go Google it up right now and yep. figure out. It was a pretty strong card in the standard. Yep. We got Biting Palm Ninja, two and a black for a 3 3, Ninjutsu, two and a black. Uh, enters the battlefield with a menace counter on it. When he deals damage, I can remove the menace counter and look at the opponent's hand uh, and exile a card from it. That's not bad. <laughs> and then yeah, we have Soul Transfer. Which is one and two black. Choose one. If you control artifact and enchantment as you cast this, you may cast both. Exile target creature or planeswalker. Or return target creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. That doesn't seem bad. Seems alright. And the promo was invoke of invoke the ancients. Create two four five spear creature tokens for each of them. Put your choice of vigilance reach. Or trample counter in it. Yeah, so it's really good. Not in sealed. Like, yeah, <laughs> the four green pips can, uh, can make it pretty difficult, yeah. I think. So, I uh, yeah. So I ended up with uh, Sokenzon, the Crucible of Defiance. So the red legendary land. So tap so you channel it for four. Uh, create two color spirit creature tokens. They gain haste and it costs one less to activate for your legendary pet control. And then uh, we got Rizona, the commander. We talked about that earlier. Kodama, uh, which is like, a, it's two decks. probably like, probably try to build something around this in standard. Um, I really like the card, assuming that I can get more of it. Um, try to figure out some like, hey, I don't know, like Celestia modified or something like that. Figure that whole thing out. So we ended up with that March of the Reckless Joy. So we can exile a bunch of cards, which I don't think you'd even want to do okay. here. Lizard Blades, which seems really good. It's a two mana equipment, artifact creature equipment lizard. It's a one one with double strike. Equip creature gets double strike. It has a reconfigured two. We got the white dragon. It's a three three for four with flash and flying, which is just seems like good stats and sealed by itself. When it enters the battlefield, another permanent gains indestructible for as long as you control it, though, which seems even better. To be able to save yourself winning combat, especially in sealed. Mm -hmm. And then obviously Luberg. It gets plus five plus five to end a turn, which I don't know if it'll see much here. And then uh, we got the Kaito Shizuki. So it's the three mana Demir Planeswalker. Three loyalty at the beginning of your end step. If it enters the battlefield this turn, it phases out. Then you get plus one to draw a card, discard a card unless it attacked this turn. Or unless you attack this turn. Minus two, create a 1-1 blue ninja creature token with this creature can't be blocked. 
Minus seven, you get an emblem one creature. You control deals combat damage to a player. Search your library for a blue or black creature card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle. So, and then a uh, promo, which I don't think is in, in the same boat that you're going to invoke the agents yeah. of Brilliant Restoration. It's the uh, seven mana sorcery, return all artifact enchantments from your graveyard to the battlefield, which just don't think we'll be doing anything with them playing. So, I might be trying. I know it's kind of hard, like, kind of want to play the Kaito, but I'm kind of thinking, like, Got a pretty good red white. I got a there. pretty good red white pool here. I don't know exactly what's going to be good and playable out of the two, but I'm thinking it's probably going to go that way. So I mean, just the the base, uh, other than probably that card, um, it might be good really late. But other than that, I don't think it'll matter. So you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, we'll be back for some actual gameplay. We're going to build off camera this time, and uh, hopefully, you'll see us on camera a little bit later. Some matches.